Good morning. Okay, day three, fitting 40 days. And I want to give you guys a recap on day two. Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm London, author and creator of Fit in 40 Days. Uh, everything went well, except I did not get all my water in. I know, right? Okay, so what happened? I did not start sipping as soon as I woke up. Normally, as soon as I wake up, I just start sipping water. And, you know, that helps you get all of your water in. But I had my water sitting in the refrigerator, the, 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 sitting in the refrigerator, got busy. And I didn't get take my water out and start guzzling until like, I want to say noon or something. So, yeah, I didn't get all my water in. But other than that, I followed the rules for day two. No problem. I uh, felt great with my energy. I even worked out. I normally don't work out on like the first three days of uh, phase one. So, that's been great. My energy level has been up. And yeah, that's it. Day three. We're doing it. Bye. Hey, it's day three, fit in 40 days. And I wanted to point out the scripture for today. Uh, and in case you didn't know, uh, Fit in 40 Days is a nutrition daily devotional. So what that means is there is a scripture, biblical scripture, to go with every single day. Uh, I tell you how to eat for 40 days every single day. And there's also a scripture to go with it to provide motivation, encouragement, as well as it, some of the scriptures confirm why we're eating that way on that particular day. Um, so they align. They go together. Um, but for today, uh, the scripture was, I don't know, kind of hit home with me a little bit. So I wanted to uh, share that with you. So it comes out of Romans, Romans 14, 23. And it reads, but whoever has doubts is condemned if he eats because the eating is not from faith. For whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. Okay, what? <laughs> what does that mean exactly? So when I read that uh, today, and a, a big part of the being successful on Fit in 40 Days is actually reading the material and the scriptures because they, they help. Um, so, in order to understand that, you would have to go back to the text and actually read around it, right? So, I did that because that, like I said, that scripture left me wondering what, what's happening. So, with that, Romans 14, going back to the text, and, you know, we're not going to have church today. <laughs> I am not a pastor. But 14.3, okay, reads, the one who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who does not. And the one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does, for God has accepted them both. You got that? Don't judge each other. Don't put each other down for what you eat or don't eat. Okay, you got that? That's my summation of that. Okay, moving forward. 14, 13. So Romans 14, 13 reads, therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put anything or any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of your brother or sister. I am convinced, Billy, being fully persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, 
But if anyone regards something as unclean, for that person, it is unclean. Okay? So basically that means what? Let everybody do what they want to do. Right? Be you. You do you. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. You do that over there. Okay. Moving forward even more. Uh, Romans 14, 17. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Peace. Peace. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. So, and then we move forward. So once you have that background, we move on to the scripture for today. So whatever you believe about these things, keep them between yourself and God. Wow. Okay. So whatever you believe about these things, keep it between yourself and God. Blessed is the one who does not condemn. But whoever has doubts, this is the scripture for today. But whoever has doubts is condemned if he eats. Whoever has doubts is condemned if he eats because their eating is not from faith. And everything that does not come from faith is sin. So whatever you believe, eat that way. But you just make sure you believe in it. It's kind of what I gather. Or go by faith. You have to go by faith because anything that does not come from faith is sin. I didn't say it was Romans 14, 23. Bye.